What's up guys, hope you're having a good day. I am sitting here in front of the Wawa in Florida and I'm gonna do a, a, this quick video on the new Snoop Dogg album, B-O-D-R. Uh, his first release, eh, not that long. He, I mean, he's done compilations a few months ago and stuff like that, but the uh, crazy thing about this album is it's his first album release on Death Row Records since 1996 he recently purchased the label and now he put out the first released on the rejuvenated uh reincarnated death row records he's got a bunch of big features on here and i want to do a sales project sales projection prediction on what i think it's going to sell in the first week um i think it's definitely going to do better than his more uh recent stuff because of the aforementioned it's being on death row uh, he's also got Nas on there. He's got uh, T.I. He's got a Nate Dogg feature. Can't wait to hear that because uh, Nate Dogg is fire. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how he did that. If it was a, a, a chorus or a verse that he'd already done and it's a repeat or maybe an unreleased. We'll see. We'll see. Haven't listened yet. Maybe you guys could tell me in the uh, comments. Uh, he's got the game on there. He's got the baby on there. This is a big record, a really big record. And, and, and Snoop. Even though Snoop doesn't have to put out music, he still drops quite a bit of material. I mean, he even dropped, I remember a few years ago, he dropped a Christian album that had like 40 tracks on it. Um, so he's constantly putting out stuff and a lot of it doesn't sell very well. It doesn't really debut high in the top 200. So you know at this point, uh, he's doing it for the love of the art, which I really respect that. I really appreciate that. I used to be, uh, you know, growing up, a, a pretty big Snoop fan. I mean, um, Back when Beautiful came out, produced by the Neptunes, like that was fire. And and uh, his No Limit stuff, I really like his No Limit stuff. A lot of people say that the master when he was on Masterpiece label, it wasn't good. But I, I actually really liked it. That Wolf song, that's still fire. So I mean, he's he's put out a lot of fire. He's continued to put out a lot of fire. Um, obviously, we all know, you know, fans of his, we know that he's not at his commercial peak that he was at since probably. I think his last huge selling album was Blue Carpet Treatment. Um, and ever since then, he's kind of been going down. Although I will also say, "Ego Tripping" was another favorite of mine. That uh, that drip 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 song he had. That I love. I still listen to that song all the time. It's just such a funny, cool song. And also, one of his best songs of his career. Tell me if you guys disagree with me on this. Sexual eruption. That shit is fucking fire. That shit is so fire. I'm gonna tell you guys a quick story, real quick, and then I'll, I'll give you the prediction. I remember one time, I wasn't there, right? But two of my friends, they were uh, in this trailer park, right? Um, one of the friends had brought another friend to this trailer park to this like ske skeezy girl's house, right? I'm talking like, I met this girl. She was like trashy, trashy, like just, I think she had like three kids, right? like three different guys, just a true white trash trailer park, you know, kind of, kind of thing. And so they're at this girl's trailer and my, my friend kind of, my other friend got reluctantly pulled along. And uh, one of my friends is getting top from this girl, right? And he looks over at my, my other friend. I'm not going to say any names here. He looks over at my other friend and he goes, while he's getting top, he goes, uh, he goes, uh, hey, you want to get on uh, get in on this? <laughs> and in the background, why that? Why you said that? Sexual eruption. <laughs> that song was playing while he asked me, hey, you want to get in on this? So every time I hear that song, I think about that song, that story pops in my head. So anyway, classic, classic, classic. Um... Anyway, what's this new one going to sell in the first week? I think it's going to be his first one to sell pretty well in the first week. And there's a few reasons for that. One, he's got the Super Bowl coming up this weekend. So he's performing during the halftime show with Eminem, Dr. Dre, Mary J. Blige, and who knows who else. So because of that performance, people are going to stream this album after that performance Sunday night. On top of that, he's got all the features I mentioned. And he's been in the news because he purchased Death Row Records. So all of those... Um, combined situations into, into the sales are really going to help. I think this one could actually sell 25K to 30K in the first week, which would be huge for, for, compared to what he's done, you know, 10 to 15. Like he's going to double what he's been doing lately. So I think, I think 25 to 30K, maybe even more. If he gets up to like 40, 50, it wouldn't surprise me. Like this Super Bowl performance is really going to help a lot, but I, I really do think about 25 to 30K. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe if you've never been here before. Give me a like and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.